Today, Governor Dayton will announce the four selected watersheds in which the Minnesota Ag Water Quality Certification Program will be piloted. With this announcement, our state officially becomes the first state in the nation to implement this historic program. Together, the 15-member advisory committee signed a unanimous recommendation on how to shape this program here in Minnesota. These historic steps create an extraordinary opportunity for Minnesota farmers to demonstrate their commitment to conservation and water quality by voluntarily accelerating the adoption of water quality best management practices. In return, farmers will be certified and receive assurance that they will not be required to implement new additional water quality requirements during their certification period. The payoff for Minnesotans is we all will enjoy cleaner lakes, rivers, and streams in the future. Farmers, meanwhile, will have greater stability with regard to conservation goals, the regulatory environment, and re related business costs. It is important to understand that certification is not a free pass. It does not exempt farmers for, from existing rules or requirements, but it does offer insurance against a moving regulatory goalpost in the future. Partnership and collaboration are key to solving big problems, and we value our partnership with the USDA. You. I look forward to continuing to work with you all on our shared priorities of safe food, clean water, and strong community. Announcing today the, the very next stage of the Minnesota Agriculture Water Quality Certification Program, which uh, is a partnership between the state of Minnesota, the United States Department of Agriculture, and the Federal Environmental Protection Agency. It's my honor now to announce the four pilot project areas selected to pioneer the Minnesota Agriculture Water Quality Certification Program. pleased to be here for the rollout of this great federal state partnership that will help our farmers uh, better protect our lakes and our streams and our rivers and and our habitat uh, for wildlife. Governor Dayton and Secretary Bilsack deserve a lot of credit for this partnership which really highlights Minnesota's leadership in conservation and responsible uh, farming. That's Minnesota leadership. Uh, our farmers are essential to our state's economic well-being. One in five jobs in Minnesota is tied in one way or another to agriculture. And people who farm for a living are also some of our, our best environmental stewards. The fact that we are the first state in the nation that will take part in this agricultural water certification program reflects our leadership as environmental stewards. Under this new program, our, our farmers will not only be improving our state's water quality, but they will also be getting some certainty. Is farming done right? Is conservation done right? It really Secretary. is, it's unique, we're the first. And it really is a brilliant, common sense way to go on conservation and regulation and giving uh, those who are certified the certainty uh, that, th 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 that, that comes with the program. This, this is the way things should work. This is the way things can work. All too often we're put in situations of false choices are presented themselves. This is one of those cases that in my district I am incredibly proud and honored to represent one of the most productive agricultural regions in the world. And that can be backed up with statistics. That's not misplaced pride. That is true. And we have folks doing it in a smart manner. We have folks using the research that comes out of here. We have folks using checkoff dollars to put that research to use. And what we're doing is, is we understand we can feed and clothe and power the world, and we don't have to have the trade-off being degradation of the environment. We can do both. We can make sure we have clean water standards at the same time we're producing the food that the world needs. And it's through projects exactly like this that makes that possible. And for 20 years, um, we have been working as a state for, to create this type of opportunity to protect our wetlands, to help our farmers, to help our rivers, not only for this generation, but for the next generation. And I can't say enough good things about Governor Dayton and the Minnesota Legislature and Commissioner Fredrickson and, and the Department of Agriculture. 
for the work and leadership that they have provided over the last year. It's uh, and honestly, without their leadership and without the leadership of, of uh, Minnesota's agriculture, uh, this wouldn't have happened. But today it is happening. Uh, and I will tell you that it is really an important day because it launches not just a water uh, quality certification program here in Minnesota, but it indeed provides an extraordinary example for the entire country uh, and creates, I think, a new dynamic and, and a new way of approaching regulation. So often we hear criticisms of regulations, and part of the reason is that folks can never be assured that if they follow the regulation that the rules aren't going to change. And so there's a reluctance to invest. There's a reluctance to embrace what folks know is, is good for the land and good for the, good for the rivers. But Minnesota is now saying there's a different way, a new way, a more creative way to approach these issues that should in encourage people uh, to look at ways in which they can be even better stewards of the land. Let, let me talk about this program, uh, what we're doing here today. I mean, four watersheds basically providing resources from the state and the federal government. And our resources are coming from the EQIP program, and that will provide assistance, technical assistance for farmers to better understand what the resource is that they have and to assess what they need to do to help them design the appropriate practice and to identify best practices on that land and then to uh, monitor and follow up to make sure we're doing wh what we're supposed to do. It's extraordinarily important to have that partnership and that cost share uh, element of this. Governor, as far as I'm concerned, I would welcome you picking up the phone today and calling my governor, Governor Branstad, and explaining to him that I was here and not in Iowa <laughs> making this announcement. <laughs> Certainty, assurance, assistance, and help, and an understanding of the benefits. Uh, so this is a big day. Governor, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. Thank you all.